But another season begins with another predictable moan from managers over player welfare. Sorry, Martin. Are longer games giving fans their money's worth at last or is it going to damage the players in the longer run? Maybe, predictably, after losing to Arsenal, Guardiola's unhappy with the new rules over added time. No, it's not annoying. It's, um, we have to used to, get used to. Uh, I had the feeling, not because we were winning 1-0, it's just for the fact that I had the feeling that didn't happen much to extend eight minutes. But it's a good question for the international board and all the people because they don't consult to the managers, they don't consult to the players, what is the opinion. Then we go there, we have to accept it. So they have to accept it, they have to, to do it. So uh, with this amount of games, now it's not going to play 90 games. Now the games will be 100 minutes, that's for sure. 100 minutes. It, it never happened today. It was 8 minutes, imagine when... Because they extend 4 goals. And every time you score a goal, a game, 4-3. You put 30 seconds or 45 seconds for seven goals. Tomorrow morning, 9 a.m., I'm here playing. OK, well, we don't think the game's going to stretch into the following morning or anything like it. <laughs> but, um, Alex, Manchester United's Rafael Varane has uh, been vocal on this, hasn't he? Yeah, I mean, he seems to push back a little bit on what Pep Guardiola was saying there because he starts his tweet that he released this morning by suggesting that, indeed, the Manchester United players did have a meeting with the FA last week. They were told about the recommendations for the referees and for the new rules. He goes on to say, from the managers and the players, we've shared our concerns for many years now that there are too many games, the schedule is overcrowded, and it's at a dangerous level for players' physical and mental well-being, says Varane. Despite our previous feedbacks, they've now recommended for next season longer games, more intensity and less emotions to be shown by players because, of course, they are trying to uh, cut down the amount of time that players celebrate goals for. We just want to be in a good condition on the pitch, says Varane, to give 100% to our club and fans. Why are our opinions not being heard. I believe it's important that we players and managers highlight these important issues as we want to protect the game we love and give the fans our best. So quite strong words from Rafael Varane. And I guess really echoing what Martin Keown has said numerous times on this programme. The, the, the thing is this, Martin, before you come in, I know you want to, there's no argument against what's going on here. There can't be. Officials will be told to add on the exact time lost to go celebrations, substitutions, injuries, penalties, time-wasting and red cards at the end of each half. Couldn't be fairer, could it? Jim, I think what you're doing, you're, you're all mixing everything up here. What the, the issue is, so look, we all want the game for the ball to play to be in play for much longer. There's not, that's not in dispute. We all want the players to be respectful to the referees. That's not in dispute. What is the continued theme here is that the players are not being consulted regarding any kind of changes whether there be rule changes or fixture changes, the players are not around the table. Mm. But that's, that's, because the they don't, that's because they don't make the rules. Yeah, but Jim, hold on. They play the game. They, there should be a consultation period, shouldn't there? And that's all, that's all they're asking for. So what is the negotiation going to go? This is how we want to do it. The mm. players will say, we don't want that. No, no, but Jim, the people will sit sensible, intelligent people sit around the table and they actually listen in and, and players give a feedback. So this is like the player sees it and perhaps the player's seeing it selfishly. That means the games are going to go to 100 minutes. That means that we there's the, you know, we can't be humid in any way. There, there, there yeah, is but no hang balance. on. Do you accept that players need to stop time-wasting? Yes, I do. But, okay. But Jim, it could be called gamesmanship. It could be called, you know, we saw Newcastle get very, very agitated about people saying that they were taking longer to get, you know, to get the ball in play or the game, the ball was in play less time for their matches than any other team. No, that actually was quite good what they did. They'd slow the game down, they played no, the best No, the fact of the matter is, games and shit... Away from home. ...can equal cheating. We don't it want cheating. What, it depends what you want to call it, doesn't it? Don't waste time. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Call it wherever you like, 100%. but it's cheating. But let's, that's one argument. The other argument is, could we be around the table? Why have they brought it? this in? They brought it in because it, things were getting completely out of control last year. There you we go. saw that where we had a, a assistant referee uh, coming to, coming into contact with a yeah. player. Yeah, it was getting out of hand. We saw the, uh, the fourth official uh, being abused every week. We know that change needed to be made, Jim. Everyone was ready for that. But what, why are the players not being consulted? Why are the managers... Because they don't run the game. Well, Varane they, is saying the, the, players, and the players were informed as opposed to consulted. Varane says they've been chanting to the FA. 
Everybody should be given an opportunity. The players who play the game should be consulted what to what they feel. Yeah, he said they have met with the FA, but obviously he does sort of go on to agree with Martin and say that maybe our concerns haven't been taken on board. There are some staggering stats, though, from last season. Ball in play average minutes in the Premier League, 55 out of the 90 minutes. Championship, 52 out of 90 minutes. League 1, 50. League 2, 48 minutes out of 90 minutes. I mean, that isn't value for money as far as the fans are concerned, is it? No, and we had the longest ever, didn't we, at the, the, on Friday night? On Friday night. So I mean, that might have been because Southampton passed it about 16,000 well, times. Quite but, brilliantly. But uh, the most we've ever seen. No, they, we, we want to, Jim. We want to see the ball. If you're the team that wants to win the game, I mean, you'd think Pep would be like, all for this. But he thinks it's just gone on the day. It didn't work for him. So I think on the day, the he's not happy. The are coming in, Martin. Why should, tell you what's happy there's one. It. Why should players be consulted, Martin? Lunatics running the asylum. Can't have it. No, that's rubbish, Jim. That's just a stupid comment, isn't it? That, well, that's, of that's one people of the listeners in any industry, this morning. You consult, it's, it's fair comment. You many people are going any, the same way. Anybody in any industry you consult with a workforce, Will they stop no. time wasting? I think it will. Hooray! Because the players have brought this upon themselves, Martin, and this is why it's come about. But the game has brought it upon itself. It? The players it's have brought the it upon the themselves. Structured. The officials are doing yeah, something but, about but it. The referees have become too light-handed, haven't they? You're the lot that so, are ro- rolling about in the floor. So we've when seen ref, we've seen the players, you know, all around the ref. Nobody really being punished, and it's, it's got out of hand. And mm-hmm. the players continually, every single decision, they're in the referee's face. You made my argument for me. Yeah, but I'm not arguing with you. What I'm arguing with you is that the players want to be consulted and they want to be around the table. That's for but fixtures. Says they were. No, they weren't. Absolutely, we had a meeting with the FA. No, 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 no. Uh, Somebody came into the club to tell them the new rules. They didn't consult. They told them. What would what be different if the players were consulted? Well, they might have a discussion. They'd push back in it. Might feel better about it. They've had a chance. They've had a a chance, and they feel that this is actually being a shared decision. That's we're going to take a break. The fact of the matter is this: officials will be told to add on extra time lost to goal celebrations, substitutions, injuries, penalties, time wasting, and red cards at the end of each half. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.